Welcome back to the Windstone. We fast travel here and it's shining green. Everyone is just still standing around though. So let's shout at it and see what mysterious things happen. We shall also do a little hiding thing. And that's not good because something is going to happen. Bang! And something has jumped out. It's a lurker. <laughs> and that lurker is making mince me out of those other skull people. But I don't want to kind of get end up going there. Let's just shoot him from afar. He moves in a weird way as well makes him extremely difficult to hit. Yeah, defeated him. How are you guys doing there? Nice. Thanks. Is this a dream? Oh. It is a nightmare, surely. Well, I'm glad you appreciate me saving you. Who are you? What am I doing here? Well, I saved you all. Like I save everyone. Why was I building a tent? Thank you, my friend. You have set us free. Ah, oh, he's the only I'm appreciative one. Here's a mini little hammer, a uh, pickaxe, and a shiny little lurker. I'll take that. That seems kind of useful. And there's also plenty of gold as a reward. Okay, nothing else here. So we can go back and talk to Strom. But before we do, there is of course one other really obvious place that we can go. Because there was this wind stone there. I'm sure there's an earth stone down here somewhere. Must be down here. But let's go and sort out this uh, yeah this earth stone down here. Let's fast travel here before we go and speak to Strom because we don't want to head back and forth. And this video is going to be pretty short because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and use the shout on this stone and then go and talk to Strom and get the next part of the mission, which no doubt will be to clear the other wind stones and kill the other lurkers that come out of the stones when you use the shout. That seems all kind of con convenient, very easy to do. What's interesting about this place is that it's so close to everything else. I could I could run all the way back to Raven Rock and get some ha help. Uh, help, can I hardly speak. Run back. So those Redoran guards go for it. Glass arrow time. And down to my 70 ebony arrows, or how many ever arrows I've got. A lot, anyway. Man, they move in a weird way. They kind of do this little hop and skip that makes it really difficult to hit them. Go and chase those redorans. Got ya. What are you doing? Shooting me. Oh, there's something else over there. Let's just pick up oh Ring of the Major Knight and a little bit of gold and some scales. There's something small over here. Oh, it's another lurker. Two lurkers. 
Well, these guys take around about three or four arrows to take care of. And they... they wrecked him. The Redoran guards are quite hardcore. Nicely, they'll leave me everything else, though. I've got all the gold and magics to myself. So, the other... The other guy that was around here... He wanted to observe what was going on. Myself, why Mirak was making us build these shrines, and I'm afraid the answer will be far worse than any of us can imagine. What are you guys gonna what, say? What are you gawking at? <coughs> Out like Damn. Rash. Head over to the wretching. What? Ever seen a redder and guard before? Mm -hmm. Just remember who's in charge around here. Well, you guys did quite well against the lurkers, so. I'm impressed. So there's obviously a shrine up here. I think there's a wa the water shrine, as I remember, all the way back in Blood Moon Morrowind. It was over here somewhere. And this must be one of the shrines, fire or whatever it is. Anyway, though, let's go and talk to Storm. And then I'll end the video, and I will go and t take out the next stones in the next video, and it's kind of easy. The lurk uh, maybe there'll be three lurkers next time, and it'll be extra tricky. And four lurkers for the last one, but I can't imagine it being too difficult. All it'll mean is I need to spend a few my of my arrows, and I really do need to get rid of most of my arrows so I can move around. Well, let's see if I can get one of my this companion back anyway. Looks like everyone's coming back home. And they've given up doing that shield. Just in time as well. They used to be sitting out here. This is the Great Hall, isn't it? I don't think we need to go in there for some reason, though. We need to go here in the Shaman's Hut. Oh, okay. Aren't you glad that I saved everyone, though? Hey, Freya. If anyone can help us now, it is you. I'll make her guide you. What about your groovy little dancing thingies? Ah, let's talk to you. You have prevailed. I can feel it. Well, your people are free. And so the skull shall be allies to you. Well, what are you going to give me? If you have released the windstone and broken the hold on my people, perhaps you can do the same for the rest of Solstein. I doubt it will fully stop whatever Mirak is doing, but it may slow his progress. Well, I want to kill him. I cannot help. None here can. Great ally then. Maybe you can give me a map of where the stones are. You will need to learn more about this black book. Okay. Mirak had this. This does not look like something of the dragon cult. It is a darkling, unnatural. I would have nothing to do with it. But the dark elf wizard, Neloth. He came to us some time ago asking about black books. I believe he knows a great deal about them. Perhaps too much. Seek him out to the south. Be cautious, Dragonborn. There is something else at work here. Probably Herminus Mora. Why do you think he can help me find about out about these books? Oh, actually, what do you know about these books? Let's start from the top. Our traditions do not speak of them, but they and Mirak are connected. We read a black book and saw him. And the book's power comes from the same dark source as that which corrupted the windstone. But beware, you are now walking the same road as Mirak. So I could become like Mirak, cool, with a big tentacly beard. He also is searching for them. 
In fact, he has already found one. He showed it to me when he came here. It was very like the one you found in Mirak's temple. A thing of dark magic, not of the All Maker. I think I've got two books myself now. The power of the stone had been corrupted. It was the source of the influence that had taken control of the skull. Your shout broke whatever evil will controlled the stone and restored its true nature as a conduit of the All Maker's gifts. Freeing the other stones will diminish whatever dark influence is spreading across Soulstone. That sounds good. Tell me about where they are, actually. There are six sacred stones. Six? I thought there were just four. Water, earth, beast, sun, and tree. Through them, the oneness of the land is maintained. Freya saw that the tree stone now stands imprisoned in Mirak's new temple. I doubt that you can free it until his power is broken. Oh, a tree stands right in the middle. To cleanse the other stones. Even if this does not stop Mirak, it surely will delay his return. Right, so this all maker, is he a Daedra? You He's a shaman, so I don't need to ask that question. And I don't know if I can make you understand. Mmm, bread. Try. The all maker is the maker of all things. And it is from the All Maker that life flows like a great river. As all rivers must return to the sea, so all life returns in time to the All Maker. I know our ways must seem strange to you, but the nine gods of the Empire are equally strange to us. Okay, so he's a shaman, so I'm not too interested in asking that question. So let's finish there, and what I need to do is I need to go and pick up a companion, perhaps. Maybe I'll take her. Where is she gone? She's gone. Oh, you're going to sleep. For many years now, I have attended to Storm, learning his ways. Why don't you join me? You mean leave the village to journey with you and fight at your side? Yeah. I'm flattered, but the village is my home. It's very rare for one of the skull to leave. I have responsibilities here. You inbred little people. Look, you can trust me. Hmm. You're right. I suppose the others can get by without me for a while. Very well. If you need my help... I saved your life. I didn't really save her life at all. Come on, follow me then. I will follow you, Skull friend, but I must return to the village afterward. Okay, cool, I've got a follower. Anyway, now we've got her. She's naked. Da damn it, why is she naked? Oh no, she's put on her clothes again. Right, let's go and find the other stones then, and I'll save that for the next episodes.